A very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you're all doing very well indeed. And welcome to what is going to be my very first and I kind of hope last ever rural spotlight hour. Dratini's a good one, and I'm f unfortunately I'm limited to 60 spawns tonight due to incense capability. There are no wild spawns around me, and uh, it's due to rain at any given moment. In fact, it's starting to drizzle already, so let's see uh, how this video pans out, shall we? You've got 60 spawns. Can we get a shiny? Been long overdue for a shiny Dratini this event, I've got to say. Caught a lot of the damn things, and let's, I don't know, kind of want one. Kind of want the pink the pink dragon noodle, you know? It's gone six o'clock, hooray! Time to drop down our incense. The amount of incense I've burned while, whilst being here in Wales is obscene. It's all for a good cause. Trade distance for the Ralts, Dratini, and Bagon, and the XL candy count is very good. And our very first Spotlight Hour Pokemon is Swirlix. Where's Dratini? And I tell you, my... I was just about to say, my Ultra Ball storage is very low at the moment. I hate being a rural player. I, if anybody's a rural player out there, I fully sympathise with you. Seriously, this is a disaster. That's Pokestop down the road. Uh, I can't get to it because there's no phone signal. Finally, a bloody Dratini. That isn't pink. It's not pink. What a shame. To be honest, I'd rather keep it for trade. Keeping it for a trade. Second Dratini. It's not pink. Sad times. I've got nothing! <laughs> the good news is that obviously this weekend, Swablu Community Day, I need all the normal Pokeballs for once, not Ultras, and also it's going to start raining again. Oh god, really? How long can we last in the rain or is it going to actually chuck it down? And that's the dog howling because he's on his own. Another Dratini! It's not pink. Over on the side here, you will see I maxed last night. I maxed my sh oh, the Dratini ran. What the hell? Okay, right. We're not doing that then. For fuck's sake! Three Dratini, one run. Unbelievable. Oh come on, watch this Dratini. <laughs> Can you give me a pink one? Oh, 65 CP. Watch this one run for no reason. But anyway, I maxed my Shadow Dragonite. I had a 93% Shadow Dragonite that I maxed to level 50 with the XL candy accumulated through this event. A little bit of a help with the fact that Tom and I have done some distance trades because I'm obviously, I've been burning incense here while in Wales to catch all of the necessary Dratini, Bagon and Routes for XL trades over 100 kilometers distance between where I am in London and here. And this now is bringing the rain. How bad is it going to get? How bad? Do you know what? Sod it. This is going to be a very raw spotlight hour video. Bugger all's going to really be cut. No shiny. Managed to do a Pancham raid or two. Pancham's now available in raids, tier one raids. Definitely send them my way, please. Give me one more incense spawn and I'm going inside. <laughs> it's raining. Welcome to Wales, motherfuckers. <laughs> I am an imbecile. Hurry up! Incense, there we go. That's not shiny. No, we've got an XL for that Dratini catch. Nice. Come on. Be a shiny for the... No, oh, not the rainy weather. God damn. And it's now really picking up, so I'm going inside, people. We'll see you in a bit. Well, we're now inside the safe weather where there's no rain. Apparently, I'm walking too fast. I'm walking at breakneck speed, as you can tell, my antic. <laughs> this wild Dratini that spawned off of my incense during Dratini Spotlight Hour. I am missing my home clusters so bad. The views from here are rather sensational. Come on. I've seen quite a few people on Twitter actually getting shiny Dratini. So congrats, if you've got your shiny Dratini this event, good on you. Let me know if you got it during Spotlight Hour, actually. We're now about halfway through the old Spotlight Hour job. Not a shiny, and I am down to five Ultra Balls. I would love to get a shiny Welsh dragon. It makes sense. I've burnt God knows how many incense. Oh my God, I think I've honestly burnt about 30, 40 incense since being here because I've been running incense all day. Marrow Research Day, I was incredibly lucky that it didn't rain during that time frame. But anywho, <sighs> we're 33 minutes into the spotlight hour and a big fat zilch on anything. Oh, just missed that incense spawn, damn it. But the reason I've come on camera is because we've got seven kilometer X hatching and since I haven't filmed any of them, 
Cleffa. We hatched an Igly buff earlier, by the way. Tratini. No shiny. Completely run out of Ultra Balls. And as you can obviously be aware, I'm still inside, permanently, because the rain is coming down even harder. Just when I freaking need to film. Egg number three of the batch. Can we get something cool? Cleffa again. Egg number four. Eggly buff again. Oh god, we're getting the baby Pokemon big time. There's a Gibble. Yes. Take a Gibble. From. Ah, from Belgium. Thank you very much. Dratini. Gonna be so glad to get back to London tomorrow, I tell you. For damn sure. <laughs> Egg hatch. <laughs> Finally! Oh my god! Jesus Christ, you have no idea how long that's taken. Oh my god, I'm from Summit NJ. From New Jersey, thank you to the New Jersey crew, this is one of your eggs. Oh my god, I actually need, this is the only shiny from fucking Marrow Battle Day, Marrow Research Day. I've had so many shiny Marrow, I never had the Azuril. Yes! <laughs> Finally! I don't know how many egg hatches that's taken. A lot. I've had so many of these damn things. It's such a lovely little shiny. Oh, brilliant. I can get a little lovely AR shot in the rain. Come on, Dratini, don't lose it. No shiny Dratini. I am dead pleased with that. Also, somehow I've walked 4.7 kilometers without actually leaving this house. I've wanted that shiny for so long. Yes! There's a normal one to finish. <laughs> I didn't even bother checking the IV, did I? Did I? I don't even remember if I did. I haven't gone through any of my legendaries just because, honestly, the legendary normal candy for me, like, it's too much hassle. I haven't planned for this one. Next month, I'll actually try three Azuril in a row. <laughs> Six XL. That's from Japan. Nice. That's fantastic. Four in a row. <laughs> is, is it by any chance a common egg hatch? <laughs> And a Dratini, I think that's all the eggs for that batch. I keep forgetting, I, I'm so used to having all three types of Pokeball, I'm constantly going to the Pokeball selector. No, nope, can't happen. It's like either Sue or Bunzo or somebody. Thank you so much. What a lovely, lovely little shiny that is. There it is, as I speak, and it's not a pink noodle. My pleasure. <laughs> Recent shinies. The whole freaking Marrow <laughs> Nazuril. Spawn. There we go. Not a pink one. You may see a Swablu rant, a Swablu Com Day rant video in the coming days. But I have to say, honestly, I said it on the podcast. I'm going to say this to anybody who doesn't listen to the podcast. My top tip, honestly, for Swablu Com Day is if you are interested in hatching eggs at all, even if you have an infinite incubator, it's quarter hatch egg distance for six hours walk off some seven kilometer eggs for this event because they contain gibble and they can contain so many shiny baby pokemon you might or might not need the xl candy for them is good um but honestly i'm going to be hatching seven kilometer eggs on com day like i've never ever done before usually i avoid the eggs even if it's a quarter hatch egg distance bonus i just don't go for it but seven kilometer eggs and if i can get them 12 kilometer eggs as well i'm going to be hatching those come on Yes, hatch your 7 kilometer eggs on Com Day. Trust me on that, because you will burn through them so much faster. Even if you're not using super incubators, just use your infinite incubator and walk one off at a time. It's still going to be really effective. PvP? <laughs> Cough. <laughs> Spawns have been good, actually. Oh, apart from those other two that you saw earlier, right at the very beginning, Swirlix. 3XL for that catch, mad. <laughs> we keep getting PvP freaking stat ones. Where on earth have I drifted to now? I've just drifted up some kind of freaking rural walk. <laughs> Where am I? That's a wild routine. <laughs> Incense podcast. Check it out on all platforms. Available now. One more spawn for the spotlight hour. We've also drifted some. Are we? Where on earth are we now? I know. We're, okay, we're now back. We're now back at where I should be. I think I went off like miles in the distance there. The final spawn. Is not a shiny. I think that's going to conclude pretty much my rural spotlight hour escapade.
Oh, brilliant. Do you know why that is? It's because I drifted so far away, it soft banned me. Are you actually serious, Niantic? You were... What? <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Are we going to get a random incense spawn at like one second to go? Come on. I don't believe we're not hashtag blessed tonight. Spotlight hour's done. Let's go and conclude outside, shall we? <laughs> Fucking midges are everywhere now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Obviously, no shiny Dratini this spotlight hour. We do have still a couple of days. In fact, we have pretty much four or five days left of the Luminous Legends X event to try and get one. We'll probably get one the moment we get back to London. That's usually how it goes for me. I go back to London, and the first night I'm there, I always get a shiny when I return home. But anyway, that hatched shiny... I think trumps anything because just that shiny, you have no idea. I think that's the last shiny baby Pokemon I've needed and it's taken years, years to get it. So hashtag blessed shiny in the Welsh countryside. Let me know if you've managed to hatch a shiny Azuril, actually. Go on, let me know. And let me know, of course, if you managed to get your shiny Dratini this spotlight hour. Uh, were you more lucky than me? And also, I obviously only got 60 chances. Two of the 60 weren't even Dratini, and two Dratini ran, so I caught 56 Dratini. Compare that to me usually catching over 300 when I'm in Ealing. So that's kind of the massive polar difference between rural and city player. So anybody who's a rural player, I sympathise massively. <laughs> with you now i wouldn't ever do this again but with that i'm going to say thank you very much for watching everybody please do make sure to subscribe if you are new with the notifications on so you don't miss any future uploads or live streams and of course smash that like button if you enjoyed the video i won't be around to live stream tomorrow's raid hour but i probably won't be able to get back in time to do a proper setup live stream you'll see another video tomorrow but i'll see you all for some more hardcore event hunting on thursday hopefully so take care everybody <laughs>